This is coming from Target, and that's the only store I hit up today because I have work soon. And right here are my WWE Elite Fix. And fix my phone. And that's ah, still crooked. And I don't have that much, I just have a few. I'm very selective on which ones I get. And right here is my WWE Heavyweight Championship belt that I got from Target. It was on clearance, I forgot how much. And it would be nice if I could have the actually, actually, actual replica of the belt. And right here, I had framed the ticket stub when I had attended Monday Night Raw at the Verizon Center on June 23, 2014. And I still watch wrestling until this day. And I did pick up the original bro, Matt Riddle. Here's the back. Got his bio in. There's the rest of the wave. And there's a barcode just in case you guys are looking for him and i'm gonna cut this part of the video and before i show you guys these elites and there is two ultimates and one storm i was gonna say storm shadow one storm collectible in the collection and the clip is gonna be me at target the one by my house i hope you guys enjoy all right all right, I'm here at Target by my house, and this is probably the only store I'm gonna hit up because I got work soon, and hopefully I can find the new Master Chief from Jazzbears. Any Cobra Troopers? Maybe a Red Ninja. Uh, and also from the Strong Guy Wave, the Pirate Deadpool. Hopefully we could find something. All right, all right, let's see what they got for Legends. They got like Tom Cassidy, Captain Marvel, and they just got a random Bobby Heenan on the peg. And they still got Apocalypse, two of them. And here's what the bots are looking like. And I believe this wave is new. I'm not sure. And for multiverse, that's about it. And I don't know where they would put the Master Chief. I'm assuming somewhere here, not sure. And they don't have Pirate Deadpool because that's where it was last time. But they do got some Godzilla. All right, they got an end cap for Black Series or Star Wars. And I checked the regular section where they're normally located at, but they didn't have nothing. And oh, got a restock on Hondo, Captain Cardinal. And DJ Rex, and they got some of the Empire Strikes Back vintage wave. All right, I'll start first with Vince McMahon. Storms, no oh, storms, storm collectibles, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior. Here's the Ultimate Red Heart and Jim the Anvil Nightheart, the Heart Foundation. And the Brothers of Destruction, Kane and Undertaker. And let me just move the frame and let's put these guys over. And now on to 90s. There's Kurt Angle. 
John Cena, Scott Hall in his wolf pack uniform. There's Triple H with his sledgehammer. There's the back. Goldberg. Randy Orton. Probably my favorite in my collection. The Walmart exclusive rock. And I guess early 2000s. Is Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna get their Super 7 figures because they look really dope and they come with a lot of accessories. Here's Xavier Woods. And I do want the updated Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston and Biggie. And the updated, not Kofi, Xavier Woods comes with the up, up, down, down championship belt. And I also want Street Profits because they both look good. Here's the gold standard. Sheldon Benjamin, I believe he's a Chase variant. Here's a Chase variant of the Hurricane. Chris Jericho with his clipboard. List of Jericho. And one of my favorites in the collection, The Miz. And I would love to get Morrison, an updated, what's his face? Um, Drew McIntyre. And next, we have the Divas. Here's Becky Lynch. Andy Rose. Natalia. Alexa Bliss. And Charlotte Flair. I do need a couple more Divas. I need Sasha Banks and um, Bailey and probably the Iconics. Probably all the Divas, actually. And we'll move on to, I guess you could call them the veterans of today. Uh, just correct me if I'm wrong. Here's Lies. Here's... Gallows and Anderson. Here's AJ Styles. Here's Daniel Bryan with the um, I forgot what he what he called this version of the belt. And here's the shield. And I really hope Seth Rollins go back to. Um, I can't think of the word, but I hope he goes back to how he used to be. I don't, I'm not really feeling his persona. I guess you could, I guess he calls himself the Messiah, but I prefer this. I can't, I can't think, but you guys know what I'm talking about. But, uh, anyways, here's Finn Balor, Shinsuke, Bobby Roode, and Rusev, and here are the, um, the next generation of WWE stars, superstars, and... I don't know why I can't think of his name. Um, you know what? Let me know in the comments below what his name is. I don't know why I can't think of it. I feel like an idiot. But anyways, here's Ricochet. Pete Dunn. Here's Andrade. Tommaso. And... Alice the Black. And there are a few more at least that I do want. It's just there's so much lines that I do collect. Marvel Legends, NECA, a couple DC, 
Now I'm collecting Super 7. And as you guys can see in the back, Black Series. I have a few SH Figwatch Dragon Ball Gundam kits. And of course, my favorite line, G.I. Joe's. And yeah, I do collect a lot. And I'm very selective on what I get, but I'm gonna cut this part of the video and do unboxing and showcase of Matt Riddle. All right, oops. All right, here's a quick unboxing and showcase of WWE Elite Matt Riddle. And I know I had said if I was gonna get Elites, I would go to Walmart because it's way cheaper, but this is one of those figures that I had to pick up right away because if it's gone, it's gonna be a pain to hunt for and the price is just gonna go up. So I decided to pick it up. Why not? And here's a close look of Matt Riddle and all the accessories he comes with. There's the side, there's the back, and you could pause it if you want to. There's his bio and the rest of the wave. And I do want um, Kofi Kingston, our true, basically probably the whole wave except for Randy Orton. There's a better look at the barcode. And same thing on the other side. And I'm too lazy to get my blade, so. I'm just gonna rip the box. And take out all the accessories as quick as I can. There you go, I apologize for that loud noise. And let me just put Matt Riddle in the back and show you guys his accessories. First, he does come with four set of extra hands. There's the open palm. And then your typical, oops, hands. And he does come with, hold on, his slippers. And let's take a look at Matt Riddle. Here's a closer look. And I guess you could call this an extra accessories bandana but I'm just gonna keep it on him original bro and he got the I don't know what kind of hand this is I guess surfs up I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong there's the back of his trunks and he is a black belt in jujitsu and if you're familiar with at least you know the, um, the articulation single jointed elbows he does have an app crunch full rotation on the neck he can't really look up or down his arms could go that far full rotation but since he has his jacket on it's going to hinder full rotation of the wrist Side to side, waist swivel. He could do the splits that much. He could kick forward that far. Can't really kick back. He does have a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Calf swivel. And he does have ankle rockers, but it is kind of stiff. I'm not gonna force it. I'm probably gonna heat it up. And he got his, yeah, it's kind of stiff, pivot. He does got pivot and let me put his slippers on. And let's do a little size comparison with other 
elites. And I'm just gonna grab whatever elite that's next to me. I'll do. Here's Xavier Wood. Randy Orton. And let's put a diva. I'll go with Alexa Bliss. And I'm just gonna scoot Xavier Woods to the side. And put Alexa Bliss next to Matt Riddle. There you go. This was just a quick unboxing and showcase of WWE Elite of Matt Riddle. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for the love and support as always. But more importantly, love you guys. All right. Peace.